Oh. I didn't see you there. Anyway. Gamescom just closed out. Released about 15 hours of coverage for 4 hours of game trailers. I treat these events as exactly that. Events. These things are like church to me. In fact... Anyway, I love hype, but I understand for some, that's not the way they want to go. So we're just going to go through the games in chronological release order. I did leave off some of the indie titles from the third day, but if this video gets enough support, maybe we'll do a full indie thing. E3 is dead. Gamescom remains supreme! First category is out now. Surgeon Simulator 2 has co-op. It's out now. Warframe, Heart of Deimos, that new expansion, came out now. Warriors Rise to Glory is in early access now. It has turn-based combat. I'm probably about to download it after finishing. Hypercharged Unbox looks like CSGO, except with toys. Grindstone is a big, gory comedy puzzle tactics game. It's out now. Core is like Rec Room in Dreams, but not in VR. Wasteland 3 is like the old Fallouts. It's out now. Struggling is a good indie game that's out now that you should go buy. Project Cars came out, and it looks like it has a bunch of different cars. Captain Tsubasa is a weed game, based on an older anime. It's got crazy particle effects and bombastic moves. It's out now. Dual Universe looks like Star Citizen, but is real, and is now in beta. Jump Force, it's out on the Switch now. It's got Todoroki, and there's a new JoJo. Oh ho ho! X4 got new expansions, it's the Space Sim. Lonely Mountains is getting the Downhill expansion. The Waylanders is a Celtic mythology-based adventure game that features a time shift between medieval and mythological time. Street Power Soccer looks like NBA Jam Soccer, and it's out now. Drake Hollow looks like Fortnite, and it's got the building mechanics, and it's out now on Game Pass. You can pet the dog VR. You can pet dogs in VR right now. Uh, Room 2 is apparently getting better. They've promised updates in the future. It's a looter shooter stabber, and I really didn't think this sequel would ever come out. September! Dieselpunk RPS Iron Harvest comes out September 1st. Ari and the Secret of the Seasons, a Zelda-esque action adventure with some cool platforming magic, comes out September 1st as well. WRC9 drops September 3rd, the same day as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. They did say that they have skater-specific challenges now. He didn't say much. I think there's something secret going on with this game. Spellbreak has that epic games art style, and I can't wait to be a Meiji boy, also on September 3rd. Star Wars Journey to Batu drops September 8th, 2020. It's a Sims game based on the new Star Wars World Disney attraction. Blazing Cells, a battle royale but Sea of Thieves. Bullets Per Minute is a super fast shooter with a Doom color palette and a rhythm game music based flow state, dropping September 15th, 2020. Hack is a 2D side scrolling action game, dropping September 16th. Mini Motor Racing X is racing tiny cars. It takes two perspectives and it's got a Rocket League mode, dropping September 17th. The same day as Medieval Dynasty, an open world medieval survival game. WWE 2K Battlegrounds comes out September 18th with little chibi versions of WWE characters that you pile drive into the ground. Serious Sam 4 comes out on September 24th, 2020. The trailer opens with you getting a Fucking mech from the goddamn Vatican. Instant buy. Floor 13 Deep State, QAnon LOL. September 27th. Mafia Definitive Edition comes September 25th, 2020. On September 28th, we get Genshin Impact. It's got Breath of the Wild art style and a weeby ass magic system. Adventure game Chinatown Detective Agency drops September 30th. Traffic Jams of Hectic VR game drops sometime in September. October! Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, drops October 2nd, 2020. Star Wars Squadron looks rad as hell. You get to play as both the Empire and the Rebels if you want to, entirely in VR. October 2nd. Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition comes out October 15th, 2020. The Signifier, a horror game, comes out on October 15th. The same day as Space Crew, a little cute strategy game where I can pretend to be Captain Picard. On October 20th, we get Doom. Rip and tear, baby! New enemies, new campaign! Uh, the thriller game Remothered also comes out on October 20th. October 21st brings us Love, a story-based puzzle box game with a little neighborhood sim in it. Also coming that day is Tenderfoot Tactics, a turn-based RPG tactics game with a focus on story and unpredictable wild magic. Scourgebringer drops the 21st as well, it's a fast-paced side-scroller. Zelter, an isometric zombie survival game, drops October 22nd. 
A spiritual successor of Startopia called Starbase Startopia drops on October 23rd, 2020, a jokey strategy simulation game. The beta's out now. They showed an animated short from the new World of Warcraft expansion Shadowlands coming October 27th. Gibbous looks like a classic Lucas Arts game. It's also an instant buy for me. It features a talking cat and is about Cthulhu. October 28th. Song of Horror is coming to consoles on October 29th. This game was praised for its adaptive AI. Watch Dogs Legion comes out October 29th. It's a Ubisoft game. October 30th. Dark Pictures, baby. Little hope coming. Monster Truck Championship comes out sometime in October. It's a game where you uh, do monster truck shit. Transient, a Lovecraftian horror in a cyberpunk setting. It's an instant buy. How are you not already wishlisted this? Comes out sometime in October. November. On November 3rd, the Switch gets Jurassic World, which I hear is good now. The new Destiny expansion drops November 10th, 2020, if any of you are still playing Destiny. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, a weeb side-scrolling action platformer, drops November 10th, 2020. Proteus is a classic Doom-inspired fuck em up a thon It's got a huge map creation engine that drops November 10th. We got a lot of news from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. They tanked it up for next gen. Taking a cue from RPGs, letting us create a character and give him a military background. It's got big decisions and multiple endings. Getting a graphic novel for a Werewolf the Apocalypse game. Chris Tales, a JRPG with a very interesting art style for weebs. It has a time travel gimmick and it drops November 17th. December. The medium, which drops sometime in December, decided to show off more Troy Baker. Gatewalkers, a co-op ARPG isometric, drops December 2020. Pumpkin Jack is a character action platformer about a jack-o'-lantern man sometime in December. Call of the Sea is a Lovecraft adventure, but nice dropping in December 2020. Here are the things that are just slated as Q3. Fall Guys Season 2. You get medieval themed costumes. You get medieval themed levels. Solsta, Crown of the Magister drops in Q3. D&D inspired isometric adventure. Tinkertown is a Zelda-like isometric RPG with co-op. Overloop is a side-scrolling action puzzle game dropping sometime in 2020. Crown Trick is a hand-drawn isometric roguelike RPG dropping sometime in Q3. Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown drops sometime in Q3. Here are things that are dropping in Q4 2020. Dirt 5 Playgrounds focuses on arcade fun with a new creation engine and a bunch of new game modes. Potion Party is a top-down party game. Inling Extinction is Forever is a sad little animal game that's gonna make me cry. 2D and Top D is a perspective switching puzzle game in Q4 2020. Demon Turf is a weeby adventure game with a weird 2D 3D art style. Bridge Constructor gets a Walking Dead tie-in. Time Loop Thriller Game 12 Minutes got a new cast of James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley, and Defoe. Medal of Honor VR game is going to be dropping in Q4 2020, and it's got multiplayer. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart drops in Q4 2020 and looks great. Goldilock 1 looks incredibly bad. Impressively bad. Go watch this trailer. Observer gets a definitive edition sometime during the holidays. Her Aspera looks like a huge scale sci-fi sim game. Weaving Tides reminds me of Retro Games, comes out Q4. Project Wingman is an alternate Earth dogfight simulator. Looks arcadey, Q4 2020. Everspace 2 is a slick looking space sim with a rad sounding sizzle reel. Go listen to this music. Morbid The Seven Acolytes is a horror punk isometric action game. Coming out in Q4 2020. The new Escapist game is a co-op survival game dropping in Q4 2020 titled Survival. Monster Harvest is an isometric adventure game where you have turn-based battles with plantimals. Hmm. Assassin's Creed Valhalla showed a bunch of one-on-one -on -one battles. It's in Q4 2020. Operation Tango is a co-op puzzle espionage game dropping in Q4 2020. Online Darling Dark is coming to consoles in Q4 2020. It's a little spooky puzzle game. 2021! Stronghold Warriors brings its historical overhead RTS to Japan on July 26, 2021. Little Nightmares 2 drops in February 2021 on the Switch. Death of Rose, a horror game, comes February 20th. Wanhan comes in Q1 2021 and is an isometric stealth action game with a possession gimmick. Q1 2021 also gives us Never Yield, a slick looking side scrolling parkour game. Retro Machina, an isometric adventure game with a little robot boy features a kind of retro machina comes out in q1 2021 it's got a kind of 50s kind of star wars decayed future aesthetic it's an isometric adventure game with a little robot boy a wonder boy remake comes out in q1 2021 as well limnus gate a kind of quaky multiplayer shooter with a time gimmick 
Away, a beautiful game where you play as a sugar glider. King's Bounty 2, a strategy game with a story and branching path, comes out in March 2021. Lego Star Wars, the Star Wars Saga, covers the entirety of the films and drops in spring 2021. Speed Limit, a frantic retro-style action game, looks rad and drops Q2 2021. Puyo Puyo Tetris drops Q2 2021 as well. Scarlet Nexus is a weeb story game with near-like combat that drops 2021. Quantum Error is a cosmic horror FPS with Dead Space vibes dropping in 2021. Dark Fracture is a 2021 horror game. Horus is a 2021 space flight sim. Analoth Champions of the Four Kingdoms is an isometric RPG. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 looks like a good time to start getting into the Sherlock games as it's a prequel. In Sound Mind is a horror game that tries to blend action, comedy, horror, and stealth. Soundtrack was created first. Kiwi is a game about being little postal service birds. Night Fight Express looks incredible. It comes out in 2021 and it's a beat em up. Pharaoh A New Era looks like a strategy game, but I can't tell because it was just an animatic trailer. Origami 2 comes out in 2021. Cinders of Survival Story is a black and white adventure game coming out in 2021. Werewolf the Apocalypse, another goddamn World of Darkness game. We are eating, boys. February 4th, 2021. Blood Bowl 3, 2021. Humankind is the entire story of humanity told in a grand strategy game. It's 2021. Lord of the Rings Gollum shows a character-based, story-focused adventure game with stealth and action elements. Sable, we saw this at E3 and its art style is just incredible. Inclinati has a medieval art style. It's a strategy game like Darkest Dungeons. Sam and Max VR, Sam and Max VR, instant buy, 2021. Bright Memory is an action adventure. Look at this game. That's one guy. That's a single developer game. This is one dude. Minute of Islands is a side-scrolling animated adventure game. 2022, Unexplored 2. It's an isometric magic adventure game. It's the only one on the list. To be determined. Cyberhook looks super fast paced and reminds me of Gmod. Paradise Lost is a horror game, looks sick. Ghost Runner is a robot samurai cyberpunk FPS slasher game. The character says the line, I only rely on myself, which is an instant buy. Gigabash is a kaiju monster fighting game. Fist is a side scrolling action game where you play as a rabbit with a metal fist. Unknown 9 looks interesting they announced dragon age 4 i hope it's good override 2 this first game was really really good they said there's going to be a crossover announcement in september ano mixes sprites and polygons and 2d and 3d and looks really neat project haven is a tactics game with a story mode looks like a very interesting take on the xcom formula with cutscenes. Stone of Madness has sanity points, so it's an instant buy. It's an isometric story game. Canarium is a horror game coming to Switch. Master Son of Man is a side-scrolling 2D action game. It looks visceral. Super rad. Die by the Blade is a multiplayer sword fighting focused game. Small Land is an open world survival game, kind of like Grounded but with customization. Death Ground looks like Alien Isolation but with dinosaurs. Instant buy. Epic Chef is a life sim, but you're a chef. You plant, you cook, you food battle. All right, that's all the stuff from the Gamescom Daily Show. If you like this content, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. There's going to be a playlist right here of all the game trailers, and right here is the rest of my other stuff on my channel. Thanks. Have a great day.